Okay guys, I will do 444 here today, and I'm going to plunge right into the actual topic, just because I don't want to wait until, like, 45 seconds like I have the past couple of times, and then have it, like, something went wrong, try to reconnect. So Dragon Ball Xenoverse is, I'm going to review it. So Dragon Ball Xenoverse, it's definitely a game worth picking up. I mean, you have hotkeys now for your supers which is a lot, a lot easier than trying to do all your supers through these button combinations and crap. That's a perk of the game. Another perk of the game is all the, like the storyline is actually is really engaging. Uh, it, it's challenging at points, like I haven't beaten the game yet, I've only just finished the Cell Saga. The Cell Saga didn't give me any problem. But the Frieza, but the series of Frieza battles, there's like a series of three Frieza battles that you have to do. Those pissed me off because in the first, in the first part of the series of three, there's three fights that you have to fight the Frieza, and you don't get to heal in between. That's hard. So technically, it's like six Frieza fights, but you know, one part is its own little level portion of the time patrol, so. Then there's the fact that you have to, like, fight with, you, fight, you get to fight alongside or against all these different kinds of characters and stuff, and, like, there's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, you can do all that. And then there's the parallel quests, which are like little side missions that you can do for extra cash to get more items or better gear or something for your character. I got the day one edition, so I got the two started. I got to start off with the two um, Frieza battle suits, the gold and the crystal, which I didn't ever use because they looked retarded as hell. But then there is. Like, you can get Goku's outfit, which is actually the outfit I presently have, which boosts your health and Ki Blast supers, which is very useful for me, because I don't ever block. <laughs> but, um, then there is, like, each item, each article of clothing and stuff that you wear can boost different, uh, attributes and stuff, plus as you level up, let me get this hair off my thing, you can boost the attributes as well. So, you know, it's useful. And then there, but then there's some drawbacks. Some of the characters balance are like really, really, around to be like really, really strong. And like almost impossible to defeat. For example, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He is hard as hell to beat and hard to play. Like, I can't hardly play him. So, you know, it's a pain. The struggle is real, especially when I have to get a drink on camera. One other drawback, though, is the fact that if you, like, you, you can only use one, you can only use an item type. Like, you can use that specific item once per iteration of the battle. So, if you want to, if say you want healing items, well you can only assign, you can assign multiple of healing items, just only one of each type. And then say you want to heal, say you can only assign each one item to each, like one item type to each hotkey, so like, say you assign so I'm going off the PlayStation 3 controls because that's what I have. So you assign to triangle the f energy capsule S, which is the small healing capsule. It heals the least. So you assign that to the triangle, like I did. And then, and then the square you assign the medium healing capsule, or the energy capsule M. And then you assign the power capsule S, which is the key capsule, like it increases your key to O, and you don't have anything assigned to X. Well, if you do that, and then you say you use your heal, you use the small healing capsule, well then you can't use it again that battle. 
you can't use it again until you clear that level area, that portion of the level where it until it says clear. Then you can use it again, but that's the iter that's when you finish the iteration. So, you know, that's kind of a drawback. All right. Um. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and all that, and I'll see you in the next video.